Never saw him again. There was a kid when I got here that was hotter than death. He had done The Tonight Show and Leno like two weeks apart. Something fucking crazy. I remember going into the improv. He had five people around him. He was eating them. They were toasting him. I remember spotting him going, oh, my God, that's the guy. I was like in awe of him. Well, guess what? I saw that bitch maybe five years ago at the YMCA with a fucking kid. And I went over and I'm like, hey, man, I remember you. What are you doing? And he goes, I write on a show. Uh, I haven't done stand-up in years. There are a bunch of fucking thieves out there, you know. Just a typical guy that gave up in his mind. That if he would have stuck with it today, he would have done something. At least you fucking did something with it. You're already in eight, nine years in. What the fuck are you going to do now? Yeah, I mean, you, you've already gotten TV. You've already, you've already beaten 99%, 99% of the, of the people. Comics. You can't okay. quit now. You know how many fucking goals I gave myself when I got here? I know, man. I used to give myself goals. I'm going to go back to Colorado and try to be a dad. Bro, how about this one? Um, uh, I'm going to do a movie with uh, uh, Robert De Niro. I'm going to do a movie with Al Pacino. I'm going to do a movie Who's with that? Adam Sandler. Who's that? That's you. You wrote it in my fucking in my apartment. You wrote your goals down. I remember it. You called it in fucking... What was it? Two thousand in two thousand you called it, and within it took you for what? Adam Sandler. What year was that? Two thousand four. Two thousand four. Four years for Adam Sandler. Okay, and then then the other movie you did with De Niro and fucking Pacino. What was that one? The the ring where the the the, the all guys grudge are match. Grudge. yeah grudge match. All right, and you got all those fucking goals down. I've never fucking seen anybody do that. I, that, that's fucking amazing. We Coco did not have a fucking house. He was sleeping on my fucking floor, or when when fucking Johnny West was being a fucking shithead. Okay, Coco would lay on the goddamn floor, and if Johnny West was out banging chicks or fucking doing gigs. Coco had the futon. All right, he'd blow up my toilet. Fucking take when three John showers went a day. To El Paso, I had the futon. That's yeah, right. we'd send John to El Paso. Uh, and it was hot and we couldn't sleep, so we turned on Joey Medina's fucking cassette. I mean, his CD and fucking We Were Out before the, like, three joke line. We're like, ugh. <laughs> we were both out. It was the cure for insomnia. God bless I it. I still remember being in Colorado in 94 and going home at night. And there was a comedy newspaper then run by the people in San Francisco, John Fox. And I remember in the back, they had all the comedy club listed in states. And there was five pages that of comedy clubs. Yeah, man. And I would sit there at night. It was sad, a magazine called Just for Laughs, just right? Just for Laughs. And I would yell them, you know, when you highlight. Yeah. Lee, wake up, cucks. I'm up, I'm up. I would, highlight, <laughs> I would highlight all the clubs I wanted to work at. And I would cry and go, I'm never going to make it. This is like a fucking Igby's. I remember Igby's, yeah, Igby's. man. I and the punchlines were all stop, over. The punchlines. Punch lines, and then my buddy Todd Jordan took me to Walnut Creek to Ooh. do 10 minutes in front yeah. of him. And I ate at that two shows. Oh, I'll never forget. I had doubts that fucking plane right home. That was not for me, boy. I remember that turn of event. But we stuck it out. So you're in San Jose this weekend. Yes, sir. So starting Thursday, yes, sir. two Friday, two Saturday, one Sunday. No Sunday. Just Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then where you go next week? Um, I'm going to be back here uh, uh, Sunday morning. Uh, I'd love to have you guys come barbecue. We'll go swim at the pool. Let me know. The pool is tremendous. Let me know. All right? And it'd be so much fun. Let me we can know. go have brunch over there, and then I'll have barbecue ready for us. At the Whatever house. you want to do, my brother. It'll be a I'll good time. I want to get that baby in the pool with us so she'll have a blast. Um, but that's what I want to do on Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. Let's relax. And then um, uh, and then uh, the week after that, I'm in uh, Salt Lake City. Uh, and then back on that Sunday. And then uh, I'm going to be in uh, Phoenix, Arizona at Stand Up Live. So that's the warm up for the tour. Talking to which? Yeah. I love her. Let me see her. Oh, me. Oh, yeah. She's oh, swimming, Jack. Baby. She's, she's a swimmer. Look at she's that. She's swimming, Jack. She's a That's fish. the real deal. That's the real deal, bro. I love it. She's at that pool in Verdugo. 
Ugh. with fucking young adults swimming, kicking. I love it. People, I my love wife it. don't even run out there in that fucking deep end. She's Check amazing. Oh my goodness! Isn't that amazing? That's fucking crazy. Look at she her. She was barely fucking walking. Ah, ah, ah. Now she's in the pool on her back. She's on her back. Look, I, I can see that. Holy shit! Yeah, she don't fuck around. That's nah. what she's been doing since she was. Six How old is she now, Coco? She's two and a half. Two and a half. She's my fucking bodyguard. I can't shake it. Uh, good for some, you, man. No, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm so happy for chance. you. <laughs> fuck yeah, man. Thank you for coming on, Ralphie. Man, man I love you, Coco. Thank you, you for having man. me. me I'm sorry, uh, fans, if I was rude. You weren't rude. I'm, I'm kind of high. I apologize. You're just speaking your mind and shit. I love you, man. It's like feel like I'm talking at the kitchen table. I forget this is your show. This My is, apologies, brother. No disrespect. Do. No, no disrespect. At all. You never apologize, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you're, you're my brother. I don't want to fucking short you down. So. You're really good. I right. know. Man, how hot is that Jennifer Garner? What is that Ben Affleck thinking? Did you see that fucking mistress? Oh, my God. I know. She was really hot? Yeah, oh, she's really hot. God. She ain't that shit Schwarzenegger got with. Oh, Jesus. I'll tell you that, fucking Christ. Okay. That thing was brutal. You see that? No. Oh, oh good Lord Jesus. She looked like Coco with a wig on. Who? That fucking Schwarzenegger made. Oh, she's ugly as fuck. Fucking brutal. Got my tits, though. So, you know. <laughs> it ain't all a loss. On that note, <laughs> <laughs> this show is brought to you by Onnit.com. <laughs> Go to Onnit.com and use Covert Church to get 10% off. Wait, do you say your website? Uh, I'm a uh, RalphieMay.com and uh, follow me guys on uh, Twitter. I'm at Ralphie underscore May. It's really me. I'm sorry if you're mad. I love you anyways. Thanks for having me here. You know that you don't uh, know when we were fucking high and you're living with me. You're like Ralphie May. You're gonna be the fucking deacon of the church. Of what's happening now? So I feel like it's always good to come back to the church. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at you, bro. You no, man, I love, I love you. I love that you're back in on a Monday night fucking around. We got high, and that's it. That's how we do it here. No editing, just straight up. What are you going to do? We love you, cocksuckers. Leave. <laughs> Read the final results. <laughs> All right.